Hi, this is Spencer Ingley from the AnyFish development team, and in this video I will show you how to uh, create a consensus TPS file using TPS rel w. So TPS rel w is another member of the SUNY Stony Brook Morphometrics software suite. Uh, so if you navigate to this Morphometrics uh, homepage, click on software, you can find TPS rel w under the thin plate sp spline tab. So you scroll down and there it is right there. You can just click it and download it onto your machine. So once you've done that, uh, I'll show you now how to create a consensus. So the consensus that I'm going to create today is just based off of two sword tail images, uh, which I've been working with in previous uh, videos. So this again just contains the number of landmarks, the coordinates and pixels for all 42 landmarks designated under the AnyFish landmarking protocol, uh, the scale factor, and it contains that for both images. Okay, so this is uh, not a particularly useful data set here because it only represents two fishes, uh, but if you are interested in uh, creating, for example, a, a population average, a, a TPS file that represents sort of the average body shape of a population uh, of your piece of lead or of your stickleback, you can landmark all 42 landmarks uh, or the landmark number that corresponds to sticklebacks uh, combine those all in one TPS file and generate a consensus based on that population, which is very useful for a number of different applications. So I'm going to go ahead and open TPS rel w. This is a very uh, simple program. It has a number of functions. Here we're only interested in generating a consensus. So click on the data file. I'm going to select Zypho demo and compute consensus. So once I've computed consensus, this button right here becomes available for use. And I can click display consensus and this will show me the consensus for those two TPS images that I provided. So here, I can click file, save, save consensus. I'm just going to name this consensus.tps. Press enter and you'll see that it's appeared here in Windows Explorer. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Uh, it's similar in format to a regular TPS file, although it lacks a scale and the coordinates are, are normalized values, scaleless values that represent sort of the average of the, of the population or the TPS files that you include. So you can use this consensus TPS file as an input in your AnyFish project. Uh, under the AnyFish project folder, you'll find a TPS folder and you can uh, locate, you can, you can apply this, this consensus TPS file uh, to that folder and then select this as an option for the AnyFish model. So that is how you create a consensus file using TPS rel w. 